Hi guys, Elise here from Spiritual Apothecary. So all month I am focusing on liver health. I'm focused on liver the organ, detoxing our bodies and giving our bodies everything they need to thrive. So today I wanted to talk to you about a vegetable. Yes, while this vegetable is a powerhouse and basically the master at cleansing the liver, there can be a problem if you drink too much of it. So what vegetable am I talking about? I am talking about our beloved beets. Yes, I know you've seen all sorts of beetroot capsules, beetroot juices, beetroot cleanses. Beets are excellent for cleansing the liver. It's one of the best root vegetables that we can use to help support our liver, clean our blood, and filter out waste. However, you can have too much of a single thing. Um, lots of times when we're taking supplements or doing juice cleanses or just trying to overhaul our health, we can get stuck in doing one thing. So that might mean drinking all beet juice or fasting too long for our body's metabolism. But there's a balance in nature. So I want to talk to you today about beet juice and the dangers of drinking too much. I have this great book. It's called Herbal Defense. Don't worry. I will also put um, the title and the author of this book in the notes. But while reading Herbal Defense, a section came up on blood cleansing and beetroot juice. And I just have to read this to you because it's so phenomenal. So Karta Pure, one of the authors of this book, who comes from an Ayurvedic lens of um, wellness, talks about beet juice. And he gives a story about saying that he was in a grocery store and there was a woman proudly holding up a bottle and saying, I just drank 16 ounces of this beet juice. And he said he asked the cashier, um, do you have a couch because she's going to pass out? And no sooner than he said that, the woman collapsed. Now you may be thinking, oh my God, this is so dramatic. But what happened was when you drink 16 ounces of pure beet juice, meaning you're not cutting it with pineapple or ginger or apple or celery or anything else, just pure unfiltered beet juice, what happens is it sends a complete rush to the liver. And what happens is the liver empties out and it empties out too fast and it filters toxins within the body and the bloodstream. And your body can't handle all those toxins at once. So what does it do? It faints. Um, to wrap it up, the woman was okay. She ended up resting for an hour in the back of the grocery store. But that is just one example where if we do too hard of a liver cleanse at once and we don't either have something to bind those toxins toxins or we have an effective way of flushing them out or the body just simply gets them too soon, it can cause us harm and we can see things like fainting. We can see like cystic acne that gets out of control. We can see vomiting. We can see diarrhea. We can see really unpleasant side effects. So I wanted to come on today because I've shared plenty of recipes with beet juice and I know you'll see them with a lot of other creators, especially this time of year where people are concerned about their metabolism, wanting to help their liver, but we want you to do it gently. So here's your message from me. Never, ever, ever drink 16 ounces of beetroot juice. It is too much. Most of our bodies cannot handle it. And we would be much better off um, combining different juices to support our liver that just don't contain beets so that we can kind of avoid that crash of sending all of those toxins to filter out through our liver and get into our bloodstream too dramatically. So some of my favorite combinations if you're going to make a fresh pressed beetroot juice is beetroot. I love to put apple apple in there. I love to put ginger. I love to combine carrots. I love to put pineapple for a bit of sweetness. So you have room to play around. Cucumber is also great. Cucumber is nice and cooling as well. So those are just some options, but play around with it. You can search on the net and you'll find plenty of things to cleanse your blood and support your liver. Another thing I love to do is look at liver supporting foods, right? So if you're going to use beets in particular to support your liver post-infection, to support your liver if you know you have fatty liver disease or non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, you don't only have to drink beetroot juice. You can also increase your green veggie um, count. So cruciferous green veggies are excellent at cleansing the liver because they support the stimulation of bile, which helps pull which helps push out and filter all that waste. So cruciferous vegetables would include cabbage, cauliflower, broccoli. Let me look at my list because I listed them all. Um, Brussels sprouts, great, great vegetables to have. And you don't have to have them raw. You can have them steamed or cooked. In fact, Ayurveda states that most vegetables are best consumed cooked um, so they can soothe the gut lining and so they can be properly digested because raw foods are hard to digest. So that's something. Another one you might want to 
consider adding in um, our onions and garlic. They contain sulfur. So sulfur is a great, great mineral, which also helps support the liver as well as artichokes. I personally never had artichokes and I'm on a personal quest this year to eat more greens that I've never tried before because I kind of stick to the ones that I like and know. But artichokes is on my list of things to try. If you've tried artichokes, leave me a comment and tell me what they taste like and how you prepare them um, because that's definitely one that I'm going to incorporate this year. But I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the benefits of beets and also um, the caution of beets and how we don't need to over, um, we don't need to overload the liver with liver supporting herbs and foods because too much of a good thing can cause harm. And in closing, I want to invite you to check out my shop. I sell organic milk thistle seed powder capsules. They are handcrafted, 600 milligrams each, and milk thistle is an excellent herb to gently support the liver. If you notice throughout this video, I've been talking about gentle support and not overwhelming the liver too much. Um, we don't want to do that. So milk thistle seed is excellent because not only will it gently support the detoxing and filtering out the liver, but it's antioxidant, it's anti-inflammatory. In addition to liver support, milk thistle seed powder has also been used and studied extensively in the treatment of cystic acne, cirrhosis of the liver, and other conditions such as liver um, liver destruction and complications as a result of type 2 diabetes. So my capsules are called Liver Love. This is what they look like and you can find them in my shop at the link below. I invite you to try them out and watch how your health transforms over time. Thanks so much for being here. Please remember to like, subscribe, share if you found this information helpful and stay tuned for the next video. Bye!